Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the fucking show. I do motorcycle reviews, test rides, and first impression videos. And today, we're gonna be discussing... The CF Moto Papio 125. If you actually enjoy this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and dropping a comment down below. In this video, I'm gonna tell you whether the CF Moto Papio is a good buy, or if it's a good buy. Let's dive in. All right, we are on the Papio, and the first thing I noticed, oh, I gotta get off and show you guys this. Look how thick that seat is. Damn that seat thick. Damn. Damn, boy. Like, look at that depth. Oh, damn. So with this being the goodbye or goodbye series, we have to have a reference to go off of and compare this bike to. And the most obvious comparison is the bike that started the Mini Moto fad in the beginning, the Honda Grom. And I actually own a 2017 Grom. In terms of weight compared to the Grom, the Grom weighs about 231 pounds for the 2017 model year that I have. This weighs in at 251 pounds. And right off the bat, the first thing I notice is the throttle response. Now, the Honda Grom throttle response is nothing short of subpar from the factory. So I'd say this is right in line with how the throttle responds. The really unique thing about this bike though is that this has a six-speed transmission where model years up until 2021 only had a four-speed on the Honda Grom and the same for the Kawasaki Z125 which is another great comparison motorcycle because it came out after the Grom. One of the figures that really surprised me with this bike was that it got 117 miles per gallon and that's probably in part due to that six-speed transmission and keeping those engines RPM so low at cruising speeds where the older model Groms and the Z125 are only four speed so you've really got to kind of wrap those motors out to maintain speeds above 45 miles an hour. And while we're discussing fuel mileage I want to talk about something that I'm kind of disappointed in Kawasaki for. The Z125 only gets a reported like 84 miles per gallon and I think that is super super low for a 125 motor considering the Grom gets 134 miles to the gallon and this Papio gets 117. I think anything less than 100 out of a 125 cc you guys got to figure something out there kawasaki that's kind of pitiful not gonna lie unlike the rest of the cf moto lineup this bike does not come with a slipper clutch but it does include led lighting all the way around which looks pretty snazzy now let's talk power in terms of power the papio makes nine horsepower compared to the grom's 9.7 horsepower and the z125's 8.3 horsepower now even though this has more horsepower than the z125 the power to weight ratio is a little off because of that extra 25 pounds of weight sitting in the Papio. But it seems to turn in fairly well. The suspension is pretty spongy, but that's how the other bikes are as well, like the Grom and the Z. They're both very spongy from the factory. But for a bike in this class, and a bike that weighs this much, I don't think you're gonna notice that. So if you didn't wanna pay that extra $400 associated with the Grom and the Z125 MSRP, I think you can make that sacrifice. And the seat, this seat is actually pretty comfy for a little 125. And look at this, we're in sixth gear. We're pulling almost 65 miles an hour. There it is, look at that. I mean, we're going downhill, but look at that. Get a look at that. Bump. Yeah, you can definitely tell this motor does not have the guts of the Grom. It's not like a 125 is gonna have the most power you've ever felt in your life. Let's be honest with ourselves, right? These bikes aren't fast. If you're looking for a bike that does over 60 with no problem, you're looking at the wrong bike. But if you're looking for a bike that can do around 60, maybe like 50 miles an hour consistently, then you can get by with this. I know that because I do it with my Grom on a daily basis. And why should you buy a 125, you might ask? It seems so impractical, but I'll tell you, it's the exact opposite. They're super practical because they're extremely fuel efficient. They can fit in narrow spaces. You can navigate traffic very easily. They're super cheap to insure. It's really hard to get yourself in trouble on them. I mean, you can, but you've really got to try. And they're very low maintenance. Let's go ahead and get the question out of the way of does it wheelie right now. We're going to go first gear. We're going to clutch drop it, okay? Here we go. Wow, look at that. I bet I can get a better one. Not bad, not bad. A zero to 60 test seems like my time would just end up saying eventually, but we're gonna try it anyway and see how long it takes us to get to 60 miles an hour. Give ourselves a little bit of room to run here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Full tuck. Later. 
six and a half hours later. We've done it! And before I get the question in the comments, can you ride the CF Moto Papio on the highway? I'm gonna go ahead and let Simon Cowell answer this one. Simon? No. Even if you were doing it in a safe manner, the bike is just not legal in most states to do it. So if you got pulled over, Jesus, what was that guy doing? As I was saying, if you got pulled over, either A, just tell you to get off the interstate, or B, if the cop was feeling like a dick that day, he would just tell you that he's gonna come have someone tow it. This bike is pretty, it, it's, it's a happy little bike. And in case you're wondering what Papio translates to, it means baboon. This motor is actually pretty smooth. The six-speed transmission is pretty cool, and I love the gear indicator. I wish my Grom had that, I know the newer ones do, but it's very nice to have and not have to play this guessing game of which gear you're in. There's something about mini motos that's just so fun. And I know what it is. It's the novelty aspect. It's that they're so stupid, small, and goofy that they're actually awesome. Oh look, look at that. Another mini, a mini moto. Man, this guy mobbing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I love that. Thank you, appreciate you. And for some people, these aren't toys. These are actual modes of transportation because they're cheap, affordable, easy to work on, low on fuel costs, low on insurance. There are a lot of positives, and really the only con is that they can't do highway travel. So I've ridden it enough now. I was out for about 20 minutes to kind of form my thoughts, impressions, and first review on this bike and tell you whether or not it's a good buy or goodbye. And my final verdict is somewhere in the middle, but I'm leaning more toward Hey, right quick, future Ian here. I've had a little bit of time to stew on this, and I think I'm changing my decision from what I originally said. Originally, I had said the Papio was a good buy, and I think I'm gonna go back on that and say it's actually goodbye, solely for the fact that it's only a couple hundred less than the Grom and the Z125, and I don't think the Papio brings enough value to the table to stir away from something like the Grom or the Z125 that's been out in the States for much longer and has a very good reputation for reliability and aftermarket accessories like exhausts, intakes, fuel controllers, blinkers. And if you feel like you could benefit from saving that 400 bucks, sure. But for me personally, the Papio is a good buy. So I'll leave it at that. All right, past Ian, back to you. It's got six gears, which is super nice. I was really enjoying raking through all the gears and always knowing what gear I was in with that gear indicator. That was very pleasant. It handled exactly how you'd expect a Mini to. Suspension actually felt pretty decent. Don't get me wrong, it is spongy, but that's what you're gonna get on a budget bike. Well, this is a bit of an awkward angle, but I wanna say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing, leaving me a like, and typing out a comment down below. If there's another motorcycle that you want to see, please let me know. Be sure to check out my other videos on CF Moto to learn more about the brand and the bikes that they offer. That will go ahead and wrap this video up, so I want to say thank you for watching, have a great day, and ride safe. See ya.